Hey everybody, excellent news. I did it. I have the ravens on the side of the fuselage. Look at this. Ta da. There they are. So I'll show you guys what I did. What I first did is I cut out one of the ravens. You can see it right there. Cut it out. And I put it on the glass because glass does not really inhibit the tape from losing its adhesion. It does a little bit, but you're still going to keep it pretty sticky. And it's a good surface to cut on instead of on the hobby mat where the knife would sink in and pull the tape apart and things like that. So all I did is I put it down like this and just cut it out with a really sharp hobby knife. Pulled up the stickers or tape and uh, there's the first one I made and it looks like a bee or a hummingbird it doesn't exactly resemble the photograph so I made a, made another two modified them a little bit more kinda gave them more of a head um, uh, made the wing this wing a little longer um, what else did I do? oh yeah and then I cut little slivers to um, make the feet and the legs which won't show up here but it will later on so I'm really hoping crossing my fingers that it didn't lose all the adhesion um, when I was working on it I'm, I'm really nervous about that you know that that when I'm when I start airbrushing it that it might peel up a little bit I don't think it will but like it looks like it's down pretty tight but you never know. So, I'm really excited about that. My idea of using glossy printer paper didn't work. But, in my opinion, it was worth a shot. I thought it might work. I thought it would be something to try. But, instead, I still managed to use the printer paper to make the templates. And I still have the raven. Um, so, my model can continue and uh, I'm going to go and relax now because I'm quite my nerves are a little shot it's like okay <laughs> I haven't had nerves like this since I had to drive in a, in a really bad windstorm um, a year ago so there's the raven I think I came pretty close it's it doesn't look exactly like this like I didn't get all the feathers here. There's little blue stripes in there, and there's a stripe that comes down here, um, and one on the tail. I didn't get all that. Would have been yeah. It would have been much better if I had a decal set for this particular plane, but you know I don't. I really want to build this one because I think it's one of the prettier looking um, DR ones, and uh, it's for my sister. And um, that's really kind of what's keeping me going on this build is. I keep reminding myself it's for my sister because she's really awesome, and um, yeah, as far as as far as little sisters go, she's probably like one of the best out there. I'm really lucky to have her as a sister, so I really want to make her a really nice plane. I think the like I said, I think the blue and white is just a beautiful combination with this raven on there. You know, <laughs> I'll just tell her it's a dove. She might like that a little more, but. I'm really excited about that. So, what I'm gonna do? Hopefully tomorrow, get the blue paint. Um, next step will be to for me later on in the evening. I'll come back here and do more tape on the tail. You guys don't want to see me do that. That'll be just boring. It was boring enough watching me put that on. Um, yeah, and then I'll airbrush it. I should have just built this one for her. It's all white. <laughs> That would have been a little bit easier, wouldn't it? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, there on there. It worked out that way. So, yeah, just use a little bit of thicker cardboard, print off your stencil, and cut it out, and then cut on the tape. It works. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. It's coming along really well, in my opinion. Um, a few little problems, but I I'm getting there. I'll get there. Hopefully I'll get it done pretty soon. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.